Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 23rd through the 26th, Monday through Thursday, for my Scorpios. Hello, my Scorpios. How are you handling everything? I worry a little bit about you with this. Anyway, <clears throat> yes, we are living in interesting times. Now, this is the week reading, the Monday through Thursday, so again, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. This is... You know, my main message comes from my Archangel Power Tarot cards, and then my I pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks, cards flying, with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, let me get these. I don't know how many they are. They are face down. Oh, there are only two. So let me keep shuffling a little bit more for that third card. Now, um, you know, I say, yes, that Chinese proverb, um, you know, which is a blessing and or curse. May you live in interesting times. And we definitely are doing that. But I do feel that, um, you know, that, you know, we will weather the storm. We will get through this. And actually, I don't look at, you know, I don't look at things that there are coincidences. I feel like, you know, Part of it, a part of you and me getting together is to get us through this also. I do feel that, you know, when I say that divine destiny, you know, I feel that we each have one. So, okay, last card, it does come out. Now, remember, I'm an intuitive channeler, and what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power, spirit guide, and whatever the voice, you know, message is, it comes through. Okay, no filter. Now, I do want, you know, we're doing some strange things here. Many of us are working from home. Many of us have to go outside still and into the scarier world to work also. So, you know, we have both things going on right now. But I want to thank all of the healthcare workers, the EMTs. I want to thank all, thank all the emergency responders, um, the truck drivers, the, um, you know, the people that are keeping grocery stores and gas stations open. I want to thank you all, and you are in my prayers. So, you know, I, I, I think we all need to, you know, do that also. Okay, three cards. The first two are face down, but the third one popped up. It is uh, face up, but it is also reversed. Stronger message. So let's see what we have for my Scorpios. And for my Scorpios... I feel like this, I mean, this is just, um, you know, I, I feel like you're having some really strong discussions about what's going on. And I'm not saying that you're wrong or you're right, but I really feel that there's some strong, passionate energies, strong, passionate discussions about how things, you know, just the whole, the whole things that are going on. So let's see. First card is... The Ten of Ariel. Okay, Ariel is our Earth energy. Earth energy is our, our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. Solid energy, something or someone that we can touch. It's, um, you know, it could be our home. It could be money. It could be, um, you know, opportunities. Tens are transitional energy. So there could be some transitional energy going on. Um, this is very much about family energy, you know, so maybe you are all hunkering down, since that seems to be the word of the day, hunkering down with family, and family doesn't have to be biological, it could be the people that, you know, have helped to support you or that you support, but, you know, it could be that you're all coming together, and it's, you know, and now, granted, while this is a Monday through Thursday, um, you know, I'll tell you that, you know, um, you know, it, it, I, I do feel a lot of positive energy because of this, okay? So, this is, there is so much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. This is also about, like I was saying, as I do feel that there's a lot of discussion going on, and I feel like you're very passionate about this discussion, my Scorpios. So, this is also another reminder for you to count your blessings and, you know, and, Again, too, this too shall pass. Now, your next card, the decision, decision, Archangel Jophiel. So this is interesting. What is it, you know, what are your decisions? What is it that you're going to have to change your mind on? Okay, 
So is it something to do with family in itself? Is it something to do, you know, it may be having this time if you are working from your home or if you are sequestered, maybe this is your time to kind of really think things over, um, you know, and really, you know, come to more of a, you know, like I said, I, re I really felt like there's a really passionate discussion going on, a passionate, you know, you know, you, you know, you basically being, this is, this is the way, this is, you know, being very much an advocate for something, but yet I don't really feel like the other party is necessarily buying in with this uh, information. So there might come, even though, you know, maybe, you know, even though many of us are not, you know, we're not leaving the house, um, you know, you can still do a lot of things over internet, you can do things over email, things like that. So maybe there you're going to hear some news and because of this news, you have to make some longer range decisions. But the thing is, you need to make the decisions possibly more now because it's going to affect you down that road. Okay. So anyway, Archangel Jophiel, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on lack of confidence. Now, remember, new moon is also on the 24th and full moon to new moon is when you release things. New moon to full moon is when you request, okay? So this is possibly, again, you know, I do feel with the 10 of Ariel, and then your next card is reversed, and this one is the Knight of Ariel. I do feel like Scorpios, you do need to ground more. You do need to, you know, you know, I feel, again, that passionate energy, that, you know, that discussion that you're having, that you're, you know, it's like this has to be the way it is, um, I feel like, you know, and I think that that's part of what this decision is. It doesn't quite, you know, I will tell you what I'm feeling, even if it doesn't quite make sense to the situation. I'm hoping that it makes sense to you because that's what I have to do. So it, it's like, how is this going to happen in this world that's upside down and topsy-turvy? I don't know. But, you know, I feel in some ways, my Scorpios, that you're, you know, that, um, you know, when this says, release yourself from that which holds you back, I feel like, you know, it, yes, things are changing. Things aren't going to be the same as you know them to be. Things are changing, and you're going to have to release that, you know, whatever that's been that you've been holding. The Knight of Ariel is, an, you know, is one of those goes forward. It's move on. It's still that earth energy. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. There's still, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. So there's a lot of... You know, that 10 is transitional, that Knight of Ariel is saying there's still more to go, but at the same time you have that decision which is telling you to release what's holding you back, okay? And again, I feel such passionate discussions. I don't know who this, what, what this is all about, but I feel that my Scorpios, you're very passionate about it. And you, you know, and the other, you know, I feel like you need to be ground, more grounded in your in your clarity and in your thinking okay anyway let's go on for our last card with our angel tarot cards I hope that makes sense to somebody out there i'm you know like i said you know if we were in the different world i would just basically say hey there's a lot of opportunities there's a lot of positive um you know earth energy for you but you've got to make the decision to move towards that and you've got to let go of something that's holding you back okay but again, I probably would still feel that very um, strong passion because it's really, and the thing about the passion is, you know, I, I, I think it clouds your vision a little bit. It clouds your, clear, it, 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 I, I feel like it takes your, it, it clouds your clarity, okay? Okay, last card reversed, here we go. The nine of fire, fire energy, Leo energy, Aries energy, we're in Aries season, Sagittarius energy. Nines are kind of this, this wrapping it up. We've got to wrap it up and move on out now. But this is about this. I like this card. This says, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Okay? So while there's this, this passionate discussion going on, you know, it, it's basically saying, you know, hey, you know, don't give up. But at the same time, I do feel like you need to ground a little bit. I do feel that with all of this strange energy, and maybe this is because of Saturn going into Aquarius, Mars going into Aquarius, this new moon, 
I do feel like the, that your clarity isn't as clear as you would like it or as it needs to be, okay? But once you do, once it becomes crystal, things fall into place for you so much better, okay? I hope that makes sense for you, my Scorpios, because it doesn't quite for me, but that's okay. It's about you. So my Scorpios, if you enjoy my readings, remember, buttons down there, like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Scorpios, know that you are loved, be safe, and be blessed. Bye-bye.